On the heels of those uh, tornadoes last week, people cl are closer to home reflecting back on one of the devastated a community here in Green Country today, April 24th, marking 30 years since an EF4 tornado hit the small town of Katusa. That day, seven people lost their lives and many others were injured. 2 News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee spoke to people who were there and survived that tragic day. This one was the one that hit home. Well, that was the worst one I've ever been through. It was a Saturday afternoon in late April of 1993. It was stormy, but people were going about their day, traveling, working, watching TV, when suddenly the town of Catoosa lost power. At that time, when your power went off, my TV came on to the lowest channel on the state on the dial, and it was channel two. There was a, and it came back on and flashed Catoosa take cover right now and it was the weather map. It needs to take cover right now. At the advice of Channel 2 meteorologist Terry Miller, a local florist took shelter in her uncle's basement. What she found when she came out shocked her. <laughs> Cars thrown around like toys and businesses destroyed. Just down past that uh, metal building place, they, they had their restaurant was pretty much wiped out. I had a uh, vision in my head of my flower shop being completely flattened except for the cooler standing, which was not true at all. I was the only business in my building that really didn't get any damage. I just had water damage. The tornado ripped down Cherokee Street right through town, destroying homes and businesses, leaving a path of destruction. But it was here at the dispatch center that now Fire Chief Dennis Benton's story begins. They didn't have no power. Uh, you know, the lights are off. That means the radio's dead, everything. Chief Benton driving up to a dark dispatch center tried to get the building's generator powered on, but the powerful storm with hail made it impossible. It was tearing me up. I didn't realize, you know, that how hard that would, how hard it hurts, because I didn't have a hat or nothing on, and I just remember it beating on the top of my head. So thinking quickly, he grabbed a radio, went to the fire station, and kick-started his own search and rescue efforts with the help of a trucker. The guy pulls up in a truck, and he's got a CB radio, and he's telling me that Hey, they're saying there's wrecks and dead people on I-44 uh, in between the 161st and 193rd. And so we start dispatching what resources we have at that time. Dozens of first responders with Katusa and surrounding departments worked to reach people. In the end, the tornado killed seven people. The tragedy still commemorated with this marker today. Reflecting back, Chief Benton and Miller say the terrible tragedy brought the community together. But looking forward... I just pray we don't have it again. Not, not to wish this on anybody else, but I'm hoping that Tornado Alley has moved a little bit. In Katusa, Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma. Although Fire Chief Benton says if one were to strike again, the town will be more prepared with the new technology out there today. Yeah, in fact, he does say in the next couple of months, two sirens in town will be 